Okay, so I want to do a review on all my gear. Uh, I know it's, it's always interesting when you know, a couple people I, I like to watch on YouTube usually do a goalie um, review on their gear. So that's what I want to do here just because especially goalie, the goalie equipment is so customizable. I mean, it's kind of that position where you can, you can really mess around with the colors and all that stuff. And we're going to take a look at everything that I use for protective. Uh, we'll start out with the leg pads. Uh, that's kind of like the number one thing, I guess, when you're a goalie getting your gear together. Um, I got the Bauer 1.7 Supreme. They have the MyFlex system. I, got, I went with the red and black, the Chicago colors. I'm not a Chicago fan. I like the Flyers, but I think when it just comes to the color scheme, you can't really go wrong with red and black. Now to MyFlex. That is, um, if anybody's not familiar with that, which I wasn't either until I really, um, this is my first actual pair of really goalie pads, so I had no idea what it was either. And what it is is you have the brake at the knee, and then you have one a little bit higher up. It's right up by where your thigh guard is. And you can, you get four black bars, four yellow bars. You can customize them around. And you get, you put two in each leg, so it's up to you what you want to do with them. For me, I, that worked best. I've been going with the black at the knee, the yellow up a little bit higher. Uh, I've been using the black one at the knee just for the fact that I think it's a little stiffer. So uh, I think in my push when I'm down in the butterfly, I'm getting a better push. I thought it was kind of flimsy when I had both the yellow ones in. So I went to this setup and I have the yellow at the top for when I put my pad down like this. Uh, when you're down in the butterfly, you know, your legs are pads are down like that your legs are and it just the yellow gives a little bit more curve you know you can bring it in a little bit more where it seals up your five hole and that there's what I was really looking for you know I had trouble sealing the five hole first with these pads they were kind of a little a little off but I was wearing pretty big bulky knee pads which I no longer wear any pads so they're kind of pushing the pad out like that so you can imagine with the other pad in there uh, just wasn't you know you're I, I was getting a uh, pretty big gap in there, but that's been taken care of now. I got adjustable knee cradle. I got that one Velcro strap over the back. You can move this knee cradle up and down, I think like maybe an inch each way. For me, um, I've just kept it the way it is. I haven't had any problem with it. These are a 36 plus one pad. I guess it's all depending on your height or the size of your legs. I'm 6'2", so 36 plus one works just about perfect for me. I might even be able to get away with going a size bigger, but at some point, you know, I mean, I think these here were actually really good for me. Um, the inside, good, it's real sturdy stuff. I haven't had anything fall apart on these. Uh, I used them between 20 and 30 times, anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours a piece every time. Uh, really no wear on them, no fraying, no nothing. Uh, the inside is basically just puck marks. That's the only thing you're really going to see on these pads right now. And everything's held up. The toe tie, very good. Uh, it hasn't fell apart. Um, these straps, I just shortened them up a little bit because they were really long. And uh, once I got them adjusted where I liked them, I just cut that excess off because I didn't want them really kind of hanging around. And you got the one buckle here behind the knee. The higher one up, I just taped this off. I didn't want to cut it off because you never know. Maybe you'll go back to using it. For me, I just taped it fast. I used red tape to match because I didn't need it. It's You wear them very loose at the top of your leg anyways. Uh, it was kind of just in the way. It was actually hanging out in here. It would hang down, and then it was just in the way when I was trying to slide back and forth. So I taped that off. And yeah, that's my, that's my goalie leg pads. Um, I really like them really excited about getting them i never had a real pair like this before so cool colors um really good like mobility in them you know they're not big they're not like clunky not weighing me down not holding me back so um it, it's been it's been really nice with them i like them and yeah i'd recommend them um i've seen a lot of people using bowers now so this um this is probably the lower level you got like this and these are the one sevens and you got the one nine um, below both of them. You got the one five. So this is like in the middle of them three. But then you go up and you got 
you know, the, the more expensive, like really high pad end pads. And, you know, that's when you're getting into playing every day of the week. These are made for about, these leg pads are made to endure about three, three to four times a week for about a season or a year. And then I guess they'll be shot, but I haven't had any, any wear on these using them, what I'm, what I'm doing them. So, and I don't play any leagues or anything. It's just, I'm open hockey right now. So I'm not playing every night a week. Hopefully two to three times a week if I can. I'll go on next here. I got, now I didn't get the matching glove and blocker pad. I got CCM and what happened was at the store, I bought all this stuff at the same place. That's where I could walk in, try it on and decide whether or not I want to buy it. So that's good for me because I really hate buying stuff online. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know how it's going to fit. And then you're pretty pissed when you have to ship it back. So I was trying on the Bauer 1.7 glove and block blocker. The glove was fine. Um, no issue with that. It was the blocker right in here where the stick comes through. On the Bauer, I was really having a problem with it. It just didn't, it felt like the stick was getting stuck in there. And I just didn't like the grip of it. It was made well, looked nice. It was just for me, I didn't like, I didn't like that part of it. Uh, these here, it's a CCM Extreme Flex 400, and I haven't had any issue with this. Really good glove on the inside where your hand goes, it's comfortable. Um, it dries well. I air dry all my stuff. I take it out of the bag afterwards. You know, just let it air out, and it dries. It dries overnight. Good padding on the thumb. You can see with the marks, I've taken a lot inside there. That's mainly because when I go down in Butterfly, my I usually, my glove usually ends up like this on the inside of me so instead of like that i usually come down and just the way i hold the stick it's usually like that so i take a lot to the inside of that but good patty never felt any of them no stings and the glove same way um the glove i think i think it was just more of a break in period and i feel like i'm still breaking it at this point the only issue with the glove was you can see right here and it's not a performance issue it's just i have a crack here and here and I super glued both of them but uh, I wasn't really happy about it you know when you buy something brand new you're hoping that it kind of stays new until you wear it down a little bit that was after a couple uses I did go back and look so at some reviews after it happened and I found out that 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 just happens with this glove it's like a two-part you know the cuff ain't doesn't all run together it is it's kind of strung together there so uh, yeah, I guess you're going to have that. As long as it ain't in the palm or the netting, nothing in there fell apart. Overall, really good glove. I've had a few pop-outs, but I think that's probably to do with me. Not, not really the, not the glove. So, the glove and blocker, it's a good set. Everything there I got is really good. Uh, my helmet's next. It's a, it's a Vaughn 7500. And that there... It was um, one of the first things I actually bought was the helmet. And it didn't come with this cage. It came with a straight bar cage, which was fine. Uh, I got really good vision out of it. Um, I just didn't I didn't like the look of it. I thought this looked better with my gear. Um, this thought it looked better overall. The white, it was a cat eye cage. So um, that's, I made that change. I actually ordered that online. And that's what I talk about, like ordering stuff online. The one thing I did order was this cage, and that was the one thing I really had problems with. It took me, which is a ridiculous amount of time, it took me an hour and a half to put this on my helmet. Uh, this back part here was, you had to like bend it in. It came, it was out to here on each side, and I needed to actually bend it with my hands, try to mold it into position. Uh, it felt like a two or three person job. I mean, I did it by myself, which is, that, that's really all it should have took was just one person, but... Um, you know, once it's on there, it looks good now. I just had a hell of a time doing it. Uh, with the helmet, the only issues I've had is a couple of these clips broke. You see that in there's actually broke. So I'm going to have to replace that one. But other than that, really good padding. Comes with a sweatband. It's just not. You can kind of see through the cage here. And that's pretty much the view you got. I thought my hand in the way, but I, I got the add on the, um, the Vaughn throat guard. And that there, that paid off as soon as I got it. I mean, I took one that would have hit me probably directly in the throat the first time I played. It was one of the first five shots after I put that on. So 
that already paid for itself because you don't really know how serious an injury that could be until you get hit in the throat. I mean, there's a few people in the NHL that happened to, and they're, they miss half the year. So, uh, Next I'll go on to the skates. It's the, I have the Bauer Reactor 2000 goalie skates. And I've I really like these. I think they look I think they're really nice goalie skate. Um, really comfortable. They've actually I felt like right out of the box they were broken in. And they got this good like cowling across the front. And I think if all else, even if you don't think you're gonna get a better performance out of the goalie skates, uh, I think you can get away with using regular skates. Uh, the the protection in the front, you can see I have a lot of puck marks in the front of them. A lot of black marks there and I actually got hit like that a few times in my regular skates I was using before I purchased these and it hurt I actually felt like I was gonna I was on the verge of probably breaking my foot or something and you never know it could be the first one or it could be the 20th one that busts you and then you're out for a while so for me I felt like I was getting a better push with these after I got them but just uh just the protection you don't feel anything through that because I got the cowling on the outside and you got the hard plastic on the inside for the skate they're real comfortable, and it definitely improved my movement in the net. There's no doubt about that at all. So I, I, I recommend these. The only things with them, I bought them in person so I could try them on. The sizes and skates are, are really crazy. These are a 10 and a half D. I wear a size 13 shoe. My roller blades a size 11. My regular player skate, that's an ice hockey skate, is a 12. So the sizes are all over the place. You'd have to really look at a sizing chart or just try them on in person. These fit me perfect. So if you had wear a size 13 shoe, um, a 10 and a half D would probably be good for you, I guess. It all depends on the width you want your skates. Uh, for me, no issue at all for these. And I've been really happy with them. Okay, next we got my chest protector, which is one of the last things I've got. Um, I was using a regular Bauer, pretty much made for roller hockey, chest protector, and I was using that in ice hockey, and I got away with it for probably 10, 15 sessions, you know, and I kept thinking, hey, you know, this thing's going to work, I ain't going to have to change it, and it only took one slap shot to change my mind, I actually got hit really hard right in here, and that was it, I knew as soon as that happened, that, 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 that chest protector was going to be retired. So I got the Vaughn. It's the LT80. It's the same as my goalie pants. It's the same set. ton of protection. Just a real hard shell in here, but it's really flexible. I mean, once you strap this thing on, it's it, it's something. It, it fits fits really well. You got a ton of protection in the midsection. Uh, the back here just kind of wraps around, so you have a little bit of your side of your ribs. It's two straps. One comes around, gets you there. One there, I'll show you in the back what I mean. For this is you got a strap here and a strap there. Uh, good elbow pad. It's hard plastic in there. Same with the side of the elbow. And a lot of thick padding on the inside. It's real comfortable. It's a little bit hotter than my other one, but overall, I have no issue with getting like like too warm and it's I think it, it's pretty good you get a good airflow um, lets you breathe good there's a hard like shell in the back uh, and good padding underneath I have an extra large I guess it's all depends on your size another big difference in this my other chest protector was kind of just it was a goalie it was a hockey goalie chest protector but it had more of a profile of like a catcher and baseball is like it was just flat this in here, the shoulders come up good, have good protection in there, but the main thing for me is just, it's more protection and you're bigger in the net with it. There's a lot more coverage here with these, the shoulder flare-ups, way bigger when you're in butterfly. Uh, you take more higher to just deflect up out and you don't gotta worry about them going in in some ridiculous goal. Here's my goalie pants I was talking about. They're the Vaughn LT80, very, very big. Well, the sizes in these, example for mine is they said if you wear your waist size plus 10. So I wear my waist is about a 38. So I fell into like the extra large category, senior, which would be about a 48 to 50 some. You get a lot of padding on the inside. Good down in here, right in that area and along the side. 
they look ridiculous until you get all your gear on. I mean, they're big until you get all your gear on, and all of a sudden, you know, they look like they belong there. A lot of coverage, really good mobility. For as being as big as they are, it's like they're not even there when I'm playing. That's that's one thing I can say about all my gear I have is everything I bought works very well. It doesn't feel clunky or anything like that. You can move good, and it just um it all flows with the equipment. I have no no issues where I feel like it's just it's bulky, but it doesn't feel bulky on me. So I've been moving good, and I feel good about everything I have. Last thing is my stick, and I just got this right when I came in. Now that doesn't mean it's a brand new stick. I mean it is to me. It's never been used, but I don't know if it's a brand new model. I just know they got this shipment in the store right when I came in. It's a Brian's. Um, the model it's a P41. It's a 28 inch paddle and that means this right here. Basically I was using a 24 and a half inch bower before I used this one which means the top of the paddle like this part here was actually right in here and I'm 6'2", so when I'm standing there and you're getting in your stance, there's a huge difference when you got to bend over four more inches. And I think that led to a lot of bad habits for me, where when you're already bent over like that, when you're in your stance, probably when you get on the butterfly, you're going to be bent over and forward. So you're losing coverage in the net when you're down. Um, I'm standing much taller with this stick, and I really think it's the stick that's been helping me because when you go down, Basically, the stick's gonna be out in front of you like this. You have really no, you really can't go too far forward or back. You're basically stuck like that height. So for me, it's been really good. I love the stick. At first, I really wasn't a fan of the, the style of it. I thought the colors, really. I looked at the colors the first time and I just needed a stick. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna get it. Um, it grew on me. Uh, I like the gold now, maybe because it's mine. You know, you get used to, and it's like, you know, this is what you use. So maybe that's what happened there. But, yeah, I really, um, it grew on me really quick, and I like the stick. So, overall, I mean, this is all my gear I have that I use right now. Um, it took a while to put it together. But it, it's really, it's really been, everything worked very good for me. So, 